Friends, I am here to introduce you to a new human hair wig resource. Specifically right now, hat wigs. I have two hat wigs from The Love Line. It is a brand new retailer. I met with the owner a number of months back so she could introduce herself to me and tell me all about this business and why and she started it. She has created absolutely beautiful hat wigs with a unique twist on them. An open top. If you want to know more about these, they're wonderful. Then stick around. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. I love bringing every resource I can find to my wig sister community. I don't think we can have too many resources. We are all in such a different place on our journey. We all have different financial means preferences, needs, just some people are looking for the most realistic $20 Amazon wig that they can find. And some people can't wear synthetic and are looking for, they're willing to spend the money on a high end, high quality human hair. And there's everything in between. So I really do bring you everything I can to help you be successful. I'm never ever trying to sell you something in these videos. If I love something, I'm going to rave about it, but I know that we're all so different and I just think it can be helpful to bookmark some ideas, some resources for when you're ready. You don't have to start from scratch. You can have a short list already to start checking out. Every one of these retailers does different things well. Um, in this case, the love line, I showed you the silk bag that these pieces come with is specializing at this time in what are they what they are calling love falls basically hat falls or hat wigs that is their current specialty i met with the owner about three months ago now and she reached out to me on instagram was telling me all about her she background she saw a need in the wig world to help women who either wear wigs for religious reasons wear wigs for medical reasons or wear wigs for fun, and she thought she could bring something unique to this world, and I would have to agree, I think she is doing fabulous work. Now, she sent me two options to show you at my request. So she had asked if I would like to check out one of her pieces, wear it for a while, and maybe share it with my community. And I asked her if she would send me two. I'm not keeping both of these wigs. But the reason I asked her if she would be willing to send me two is because they carry two different hair textures. They carry beautiful straight. These are European human hair wigs. So they are a little bit of a higher end hat wig. At the time of this filming, I don't know what the price is going to be. She has been working on getting this launched. She is going to be, some, some salons are going to be carrying her pieces. So I can't tell you the price point, but she did tell me that this is more of a luxury piece. And she carries these beautiful kind of curly wavy. Now the one on my head is in the color oak. And the one on the mannequin, and I'll be switching this out shortly, is in the color maple. But they have, not only do they have a ton of color choices, they also can custom color for you. So if they don't currently have a color that would work best for you, they can custom it, customize it. So you can reach out to them to ask them to do that. So what makes these hat wigs so unique that I wanted to bring you yet another hat wig? The cap. So let's take a look at this cap. I have reviewed synthetic hat wigs. I've reviewed human hair hat wigs from probably four retailers at this point. Human hair hat wigs are a non-negotiable in my wig journey. If I could only have two wigs, one of them would be a hat wig. If I could only have one wig, I'd have to get a full wig because you can see what I'm dealing with. But if I could only have two, I would 100% have a hat wig. To, let me throw this other one on. To me... There is nothing more convenient than throwing on a hat wig and throwing on a hat. In every hat wig video I do, I get asked about being worried about my hat flying off or why don't I just wear a full wig. Here's the thing. When you've got a hat wig underneath your hat, the wig itself acts as a grip for your hat. Your hat is not coming off your head. 
I have made videos when I'm standing in gale force winds with my head like this. If any wind was going to pull up that, that brim of your cap and take the cap with it, it would be in those winds. And my hat does not budge because the wig is helping to grip it. So why I am really intrigued by these, I keep getting sidetracked because I just love hat wigs so much. And I think some women miss out on the joy of a hat wig because of fear. And I just don't think there should Every be any other fear. other hat wig, human hair hat wig that I've reviewed had material over the top right here had some sort of material covering the whole top of that wig. And while that's better than having hair on the top as well, it's still another layer. But with the love line, their love falls, you don't have that issue. So I am not adding any more on top of my head other than the hat that I have on. And for people who run hot, I think it's worth thinking about because to me, it doesn't get any cooler than these with a hat. No cooler. So like I said, these are more of a luxury hat wig made out of European human hair. And this hair could not be softer. I am so blown away by the quality and texture of this hair. It is beautiful, beautiful hair. We have got hook adjusters, so you can adjust the size a little bit. And they do currently carry small, medium, and large, so they do have size I choices have medium. and they fit me great. So I would say that these may be running slightly small because I can sometimes wear a small in some wigs. I have a 21 and a quarter circumference and I think I'm 12, 12 and a quarter ear to ear and 12 and a half front to nape. And so Closed wefting all throughout. We don't have any open wefting, which I actually like. I prefer closed wefting, especially on hat wigs. I find it more comfortable. And then we've got this kind of lace material on the front, and then the rest is open. We do have pressure clips on the side. I don't know if I can get this with one finger, just like a topper would have. So if you have bio hair and you want some more security on this, I personally do not think this is going anywhere. I don't need any extra security. I wear this on my bare head. I never use any adhesive. I don't even wear a wig grip with it and it stays fine. But if you need that extra security, those clips will help you with one that. One of the things I love is how they've constructed the back of this. So you can see there's a little bit of openness back there. So they're really trying to help keep the crown of your head as cool as they possibly can. But one of the things that I sometimes worry about in hat wigs is being able to, depending on the kind of hat you wear, being able to see the wefting in the back. This one, you do not have to worry about that at all. They have sewn the hair onto the top of this so well. I'm just gonna switch it out again so you can see the wavy one on me. And by the way, I will, I, I do have an outside look. Actually in a big window in my daughter's room I filmed so you'll be able to see these two colors outside which I'll talk about in just a moment. So they have sewn that so well in the back. The hair goes all the way up to here. And so when I put my hat on, it's like way up here. So any baseball cap will work these with ear tabs. They've developed these ear tabs themselves. They're a bit smaller than the ear tabs on many wigs. There is a little bit of an ear tab there, but it isn't, it's not a lot. So you notice I'm able to tuck really easily with these. I normally do not like ear tabs on my hat wigs because I'm, I'm a tucker. I never, never wear my hair like this. I always tuck it behind my ear. And with some wigs, those ear tabs are just a bit too prominent and make tucking or wearing glasses really challenging. So my caution to you would be as if, if you have no hair at all, I'm not sure how much coverage you're gonna get over here because you can see there's my bio hair right here. I would just pull out my bio hair and that's so natural looking, but that could also mean that you might not get a lot of coverage on the sides if you don't have any bio hair at all. So just keep that in mind. It's hard for me to say, but these ear tabs are perfect for me because they're not super prominent. All right, let me summarize. The Love Line Love Falls. They are hat wigs with an open top, European hair, 
beautiful, beautiful, soft, silky. They come in Honestly, many colors. If you've been looking for a hat wig, I would check them out. I think this is just beautiful. Let's start with oak. Oak is a highlighted dark brown. I do believe that they also have um, non-highlighted colors. So if you want a dark brown, but you don't want these highlights, let me not confuse you with the other one in my hand. You don't want these highlights, then I am pretty sure you can get just a dark brown. But we have got a very dark brown up here. I want to say that must be a two. It might be a four, but it's really dark. And then it lightens just slightly. And then we've got some beautiful caramel highlights running through. You can see that. Definitely dark with some light. Also remember, human hair wigs are colored by hand. They're colored by a person. So there may be variation in the piece that you get. You could get a piece that's a little bit, the highlights are a little bit heavier, or you could get a piece where the highlights are a little bit lighter, meaning not as much so of them. This one is the color maple. And so this one is a very highlighted brunette. Lots and lots of gorgeous kind of blonde and caramel highlights on what I would call a medium brown. This is, I would say this is a warm color, but the highlights are a little bit neutral. So the highlights aren't super warm. This is not pulling red. I do not see red in this one at all. So if you love kind of medium brown and you love, love highlights, like you like kind of the heavily highlighted look on a brunette, then this maple is gorgeous. And the brunette on this one is definitely lighter than the brunette on this one. Let's get upstairs so that you can see this upstairs. I've already filmed that segment. And check out the Love Line if you are in the market for a hat wig and you'd like to maybe support a small business. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope this helps someone. Talk to you soon. Please ignore the background. This is my daughter's room who is away at college and I've just been tossing stuff on her bed. But I wanted you to see these two colors. It was easiest for me to show them in here because we've got great natural light behind me. So what I have is maple over here and this is oak. So you can see maple is a lot lighter, more highlighted. It's got uh, some blonde highlights, some kind of caramel. Whereas oak has some of the darker caramely highlights, but it's overwhelmingly a lot darker of a color. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.